exercise A to exercise D, we get a little revision on year nine materials, and we learn basically how to factorize, like normal factorize, including find common factor using the difference of perfect square formula, and we can use grouping method if it's possible. There are, for example, four terms here. Uh, now. And also we learn how to factorize quadratic. And there are two types of quadratic we can factorize. One type is there are only one x squared in the, in the expression. The next one is we have many, like more than one x squared in the expression. We have an a value in front of x, is which a is not one. So we use the cross multiplication method to do it. Or like some of you may use in the grouping method as well to do that. So like anyway, it's fine as long as you can work it out. And today we will learn another way of factorizing the quadratics. Okay, just another way. 5e is talking about another way that we can factorize quadratic. This method is called completing the square. Okay, completing the square. So first thing, could you please just write it here? Um, not. Uh, AX squared plus BX plus C is quadratic expression. Okay, it's quadratic expression. It's like a tri trinomial. Okay, it's like a trinomial. So, not all of these expressions can be factorized. Okay, not all of this expression can be factorized. Not all of this expression can be factorized by cross multiplication method. Okay, so for AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay, we have cannot factorized. And we have can factorized. Okay, for the type of can factorized, they all can be factorized by completing square. Okay, they all can be factorized by completing square. So that's all. Okay, using completing square, all of them, like if this quadratic can be factorized, if you use completing square, that must work. Okay, that must work. But some of them can be factorized by cross multiplication. Okay, some of them can be done by cross multiplication. For example, okay, the example showing here, x squared plus 8x minus 3, for example, this question. Uh, it can be factorized. Can you see the final answer? It can be factorized. That's in a linear times another linear. It can be factorized. But you cannot use the uh, cross multiplication to do it. Well, a 3, how can a 3 make an 8 for you? Okay, you can't. Okay, the 3 can only be 1 and 3. Can't have 8. So, this, this expression cannot be used cross multiplication. Okay, then we need to use completing square. Okay, we need to use completing square. Uh, you may ask me, what type of question can be uh, can factorized? What type of expression cannot be factorized? So you need to complete in square first. Okay, you complete square first. So after completing square, after completing square. You have two type of equations. We may have um, ax minus, well, my plus or minus doesn't matter in this bracket, plus minus uh, b squared. 
uh, let, let's not use B, let's use H. And we have two types. One type is plus K. One type is minus K. Uh, where K is a positive number. Okay, it doesn't matter with H and A. So we're just interested in K. So after complete square, for example, we complete a square for this one. Complete square means turns this into turning point form. Okay, turns the quadratic into the turning point form. After we turn this into the turning point form, after completing square, we look at the equation. Let's have a look at this equation. That become x plus 4 squared minus 19. Okay, if you have minus a number, in this case, this can be factorized. Okay, this can be factorized. If you have the plus 19, therefore this cannot be factorized. Okay, you just see, do you have a plus this number or minus that number? If you have minus, yes, it can be done by, uh, it can be factorized. But if that's a plus 19, then it cannot be factorized. Okay, so what basically needs to do is you completely square for this quadratic expression and you turn that into the turning point form and then you observe this form. Do we have a plus k or do we have a minus k? If you have a minus k, yes, we can keep factorizing. If we have a plus k there, no, we can't factorize for this quadratic. That's how you can test whether this can be factorized or not. There's an easy way later after we learn all of this exercise. There will be an easy way later to show you how to test it before you do the completing square. Well, completing square is a long process and it needs more time. So we can have a quicker test to say whether this can be factorized or not. You don't need to go through the completing square later. But let's say, now let's just assume we just know this method and we're trying to do the rest. Okay, so how do we do completing square? How do we do completing square? We have x squared plus 8x minus 3. Okay, first thing is you make sure that we don't have any a values in front of that. Okay, we don't have any a values in front of that. We want a 1. If it's not 1, we'll take common factor. Okay, we'll take common factor. For example, do we have any good examples here? For example, f. Okay, for example, f. If I want to complete square for this, the first step we need to do is 3 bracket x squared minus 2 over 3. I'm not free to make it into the fraction form. I need to have a single x squared, single x squared, and plus 2. That's what I'm going to do for the first step. Okay, before we complete the square, we can only complete the square for there's a one single x squared term. Okay, if you have a more than one or like less than one, we need to find a common factor. Okay, that's the first step. And the second step is look at what is your B value. Okay, look at what is your B value. For this question, the B value is this 8. Okay, this B value is this 8. Okay. And what we need to do. So we will keep the first term. Keep the second term, okay, first term, second term, and keep the third term, okay, later. And we need to add a term and subtract term in the middle. So we will add a number or subtract the number in the middle. So what is the number we need to add or subtract? We will add half of the middle number square, okay, half of the middle number B value square, and minus the same number now. Okay, we'll add one and I'll subtract one. So, in this case, okay, in this case, what I will have is, I will leave the first one, leave the second one, and keep the third one far away there. And I will add something first, okay, always add first. So what I will add, the middle number is two. Ignore the sign, okay, ignore the sign. We'll think it's two. So, two. So, well, 2 divided by 2, half of the middle number squared, and subtract half of the middle number squared. So basically subtract the exactly same thing as before. Okay, just plus one thing and subtract one thing. And now I will cut that into two groups, like divide that into two groups. One group is the first three terms. One group is the last two terms. 
Okay, so first three term must can be complete square together. So it's already in the a square minus a square plus b square minus two ab form. So I will take one thing from each of these three term. Okay. I will take one thing from each of these three terms. For the first term, I always take the x. For the second term, I always take the sign, whether it's a plus or a minus. For the last term, I take half of the b value. Okay, I take half of the b value, and I'll put them together. So in this case, I'll have x minus 1. Okay, x minus 1. Take three things. First x second sign, the third number. Okay, the number before squared. Okay, I want to take half of the b, not b squared. And then the whole thing will get squared. Okay, I have completed the square. Okay, that's in the turning point form. x minus 1 squared. And let's open the bracket to have a look. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, that's what we have. And then we need to calculate this. This is a plus 7. Right, minus 1 plus 8 is a plus 7. And this is the turning point form. This is the turning point form. Do you think this can be factorized or cannot be factorized? Can or can't? Can't. Because you have a plus. Okay, you have a plus a number, so this cannot be factorized. Okay, so I need to complete the square first and tell whether it can be factorized or not. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Let's have a look at B. I will show you one more example and you will do the rest. Okay, I'll show you B. So for B, x squared plus 3x plus half. Okay, I only have one x squared, which is good. And I will write the first term. I'll write the second term. Okay, I will write the half over there. And I will plus first, always plus first. You plus what? Plus half of the middle number squared and subtract exactly same thing first three term last two term okay for the first three term what i will have you will take the x always for the first one the sign always next to it and the actual number for b half of the b not including the square before you square it will take that so this will become x plus 3 over 2 and the whole thing will get squared okay take the x take the plus take the 3 over 2 those three things put together and you put a square on it and minus that's 9 over 4 plus 2 over 4. So that's a minus 7 over 4. That's a minus 7 over 4. Okay, 9 over 4, 2 over 4. So it's a minus 7 over 4. Can this be further factorized or not? Yes. Okay, I have minus. So this question will go back to the page 2 question. Okay, you can see a similar one in page 2. So a squared minus b squared. The next formula we need to use is a squared minus b squared form. So a squared, that's a. Okay, x plus root over 2 is a. Minus b squared. It's not in the square form yet, but I can write that into root 7 over 2 squared. Root 7 over 2 squared. And I will have. A plus B. A, A is always that, minus B. Okay, after fact, uh, completing square, if it's a minus, I will have some squared minus a constant. 
So I can put that into a squared minus b squared form. And I'll use the formula a plus b times a minus b to factorize that. Okay, so complete square first using difference of perfect square and factorize it. So this is the factorized form for that quadratic. Okay, that's those two examples, one can be factorized, one cannot be factorized. I will show you one last example, which is the one below here. Okay, when you have a number in front of that, we have a number in front of that. I will take that number as common factor. x squared minus 5x minus 4. And I want to do uh, complete as well. Okay, make sure, make sure you keep the negative 2 there, okay? The negative 2 cannot disappear. Okay, the negative 2 will be there. It's an expression. All the numbers, you need to keep it in that position. I see a lot of students in this case just directly give me, okay, that is equivalent to x squared minus 5x minus 4. It's not. Okay, it's not. You still have this minus 2 here. You cannot divide by negative 2. You cannot divide, simply divide by negative 2. And I'm just focused on what we have in the bracket. Okay, what we have in the bracket. Okay, in this bracket, I have a single x squared. I have minus 5x. Okay, I have minus 4 far end here. And the close bracket is here. What I will add in between? I will add 5 over 2, whole thing squared, minus 5 over 2, whole thing squared. I can write 4 into 16 over 4, because you know that will give you 25 over 4, so it's better to write 16 over 4. So, let's grouping them. Uh, three of them can do complete square, two of them can calculate the number. And what we will take? I will take the x, take the sign, take the half of the b value. It's okay. So I will have x minus 5 over 2 squared. Okay, that's 25 over 4, that's 16 over 4. So minus that, minus that, uh, 41 minus 41 over 4. Do you think that's correct? Anything wrong here? Uh, 25 plus 16, that's 25 over 4, that's 16 over 4, 25 plus 16 is 41, 45 over 4. There's something wrong, yeah? Yes, fantastic. We need a bracket here. Okay, this bracket has not disappeared. Okay, we need the bracket. Okay, the negative 2 is the common factor. Anything else all needs to be in the bracket. Okay, it can never come out. You haven't expand the bracket. So it will be in the big bracket. This seems like it's not really important, but it's actually really important. It changed your answer. Okay, it changed your answer. Without this bracket, your solution is wrong. Okay, your solution, is, your answer is wrong. You must have the bracket. Just remember, you have big bracket, you will still have that bracket here. And I can, okay, this is a minus sign. And I can complete this, uh, can factorize, okay, can factorize. So that's a minus root 41 over 2 squared. Okay, just root both top and bottom, and then we square it back. So we will have a minus 2, x minus 5 over 2, plus root 41 over 2. x minus 5 over 2, minus root 41 over 2. Uh, actually, I still have this bracket here. 
I still have this bracket here but it doesn't really matter it's old times relationship I don't really need that bracket but actually the bracket is still there okay any questions about this no yep which one which well uh, if you have a plus 19 for example you can't use the difference of perfect square what formula you apply like you have a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b right if you have a squared plus b squared what formula do you have you don't have any formula for that they can't be factorized there will be like like deeper reasons why it can, can't be factorized we'll go that go through that later but like now you just say because there's no formula we can apply to it okay. and we can't do it okay okay um three different examples okay one first one cannot be factorized second one can be factorized but we have a trinomial with x squared only one x squared uh, e we have negative 2x squared we need to take a common factor first and then completing the square so three different examples and C, D, F will be just uh, repeating repeating the same thing I'm not going to show that I will leave that to you to do it by yourself uh, so for the rest of the time I want you to do those three questions okay those three questions plus plus I want you to uh, where is it I want you to factorize the next page B, C, F, and E. Factorize B, C, F, and E. Uh, well, like for example, the first one, everything was not on one side. You need to move 3x squared minus 14x plus 8 and make that equals to 0 and you want to factorize from here okay factorize from here same for that one you have the 7 here I don't want the 7 to be here I want to expand the left hand side first and move that 7 and then refactorize that just make sure for those four equations I want 0 on your right hand side 0 on your right hand side and then left hand side get factorized Okay, zero left hand side get factorized. So for B, C, E, and F, for those four questions to get factorized, expand, move to the left hand side, and factorize. And for those three questions, I want you to complete square and factorize. Okay, so there are seven questions in total.